springtime normally represents new life, beautiful flowers, and finally a time to go outside and have some fun. But for many people, it means buckets of snot, dry, scratchy eyes and throats, sneezing and itching, and it's not very fun. Approximately 60 million people in the United States have some form of allergies. That's about one in five people, and that number is growing. So why do we get allergies, how do they form, and why are allergies becoming more prevalent? It all comes down to our lovely immune system. Normally we have viruses, bacteria, and parasites trying to invade our bodies all the time. Our immune system fights them off on a regular basis. We also have many other things that get inside of our body as well. Pollen, pet dander, dust mites, food, and obviously many other things. Normally our body recognizes these and doesn't really do much about it, but in people who are allergic, our body thinks they are pathogens and basically attacks them. Let's go into this in a little bit more depth, and I'll let you know right now that it is a bit complicated, as with anything involving the immune system. One of these allergens, which is known as an antigen, enters your body. Then an antigen-presenting cell presents the antigen to a T cell. The T cell, through a few intermediate immediate steps proliferates or divides into a Th2 cell. The Th2 cell activates a B cell which proliferates into plasma cells. The plasma cells can then make antibodies for the allergens. The antibodies bind to mast cells and basophil cells that when the allergen enters the body for a second time, these mast cells release histamines. Histamines are the main cause of all the symptoms you think of as an allergic reaction. This is a bit complicated, but all in all, your body's immune system makes antibodies that recognize the allergen. So if it does ever enter your body again, your body will attack it. This is why you don't normally get allergies the first time you were introduced to an allergen, you get them the second time. So how do allergies even form? Allergies have two factors involved, or at least two main factors, genetic and environmental. If one of your parents has allergies, you're more likely to have them. If two of your parents do, even more likely. The environmental factor comes down to mainly the hygiene hypothesis. You might think the dirtier you are, the more likely you are to have allergies, but it's actually the opposite. We are too clean. Our bodies are made off, made to fight off tons of invaders all the time. The leading hypothesis to most allergies is that our immune system gets sort of bored and just wants to attack something. So it starts attacking things it normally would not. This is why allergies are becoming more prevalent in first world countries. We are becoming too clean, especially when we are babies. Our bodies need to get used to the bacteria in the world and form its own microbiome, or we will continue to get these evil allergies. Are there any ways to stop allergies? Yes, there actually are. Antihistamines and decongestions don't make you not allergic, but they do help alleviate some of the symptoms. One other way to help your allergies is to desensitize yourself by giving yourself the allergens on purpose in larger and larger doses. This helps reduce the severity of the allergy symptoms over time. EpiPens can help with acute attacks, usually from insect stings or food allergies. The sad thing is, is that if you do have allergies, there isn't really an easy fix. I personally don't have any allergies that I know of, but I do feel sorry for the people who have to deal with these terrible things. Next time you think you have it bad, think about some of the people who are allergic to the sun, or even water. Because I really hope we do find some remedies for them pretty darn soon. Hey there guys, how you doing? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. We appreciate it a bunch. If you want to subscribe to catch all of our new videos, go ahead and do that right now. It's just a click away. Also, if you want to watch some of our old videos, feel free to click the annotation above over there. Or if you want to watch the animators channel, click on the link below. As always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.